This video will cover difficult level questions regarding the topic of factoring basic trinomials and difference of squares. This is the first question. This trinomial can be rewritten as x to the power of n squared plus 4x to the power of n minus 21. Then I will use a substitution. So let x to the power of n be large a, which becomes a squared plus 4a minus 21. And this can be factored into a plus 7 and a minus 3. Then back to original. So a was x to the power of n x to the power of n plus 7 and x to the power of n minus 7. This is the final answer. This is the next question. This trinomial can be rewritten as x to the power of a times x squared and plus 7 x to the power of a times x minus 30 x to the power of a. The greatest common factor is x to the power of a, so factor out that one. The inside the bracket is x squared plus 7x minus 30. And then x to the power of a factor inside the bracket. Just think about two numbers with a sum of 7 and a product of minus 30 is x plus 10 and x minus 3. That is final answer. Number 3, this trinomial can be rewritten as x cubed squared minus 2 times x cubed minus 8. Then let x cubed be large a which becomes a squared minus 2a minus 8. Then you can factor a minus 4, a plus 2. Then back to original, a was x cubed, so x cubed minus 4, x cubed plus 2. Number 4. Use substitution, so let x plus y be a, then it becomes a squared plus 4a plus 3, and then factor, think about two numbers with a sum of 4 and a product of 3. So a plus 1, a plus 3, then go back to original a was x plus y, so x plus y plus 1, x plus y plus 3. That is factor the form. The next question is this one. This is difficult. So we have to check our middle term first. So 3x minus y squared, then the greatest common factor is 15z. So take out 15z. Then the middle term becomes this one and 3x minus y, see the same, plus 26z squared. And then using substitution, let 3x minus y be large A. So we can rewrite as x squared minus 15ajz, I change the order, plus 26z squared. And do you remember? The think of 26z squared as constant term. So think about this. Make it easy. And then, 
sum of two numbers is minus 15 and product of two numbers is 26. So they are minus 2 and minus 13. So go back here. So this is a minus 2z a minus 13z but actually a was 3x minus y so 3x minus y minus 2z 3x minus y minus 13z that is the final answer This is the next question. Let 2x plus y be large a. So it becomes 9 minus a squared. This is the difference of squares. So it becomes 3 squared minus a squared. This can be factored 3 plus a, 3 minus a. Then back to original. So 3 plus a means 2x plus y. And then 3 minus 2x plus y. Then simplify. So expand the bracket. So 3 plus 2x plus y, then 3 minus 2x minus y. This is the answer. This is the last question. It is the difference of squares. So a squared minus b squared form, which is x to the power of 4 squared minus y to the power of 4 squared. So, can be factored x to the power of 4 plus y to the power of 4, then x to the power of 4 minus y to the power of 4. But it is not factored fully because the second binomial, this one, is a difference of squares. So, Keep the first one and second one is a squared minus b squared form again. So first one is x squared, then squared make 4, right? Then minus y squared squared. And keep the first one and Factor the second one. So x squared plus y squared and x squared minus y squared. And we need one more step because the last bracket is also the difference of squares. So x to the power of 4 plus y to the power of 4, x squared plus y squared, and finally x plus y and x minus y. The final answer is this one. I hope this video has been helpful. This is the last of three videos covering factoring, basic trinomials, and difference of squares. Previous lessons are linked in the description bar below. If you have any questions, please leave them in a comment. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.